on our Android in the office, uh, it had a pretty crummy version, it was mainly just kind of text, and then I updated it, and it was great. And it even leapfrogged um, the, the iPad version because it's got a hand, you can draw and handwrite on it, whereas the iPad one you can't. Not yet. And there's even a web version. If you don't even own a computer, you can go into somebody else's place and go on the net and look up your notes and look up what you've, you've created. So there's a free version in, in, if you've got a login. Now there's two styles. Now, nobody knew, really knows how Microsoft thinks, and I think it's a really matter of um, various uh, little sectors who do their own thing. There's two looks to it. There's one that's got tabs, and it's got uh, this down the side, and, and there's another one that slides across. This, this tab one's on the Mac, it's on the iPad, it's on the Windows, Windows desktop version. The, um, the other slider one's on Android, it's on the online one, and I think it, well the, the iPhone's got a sort of a hybrid of both. Now the free versions can only save online. This is a good thing. They can only save your documents online. So in other words, you'll need a Microsoft account and you, you, have, you get a OneDrive, you get 15 gig of OneDrive to go with it and you can use that. Saving on is the best way because if you save it on your computer, then you um, can only access when you've got that computer. Whereas the idea of this is to have things that you can carry around. Now, if you pay, if you pay and you buy Office 2013, version on that's a little bit more fancy. Uh, it's, you can save documents to your own hard drive. I, that would have to be something that was particularly um, confidential, I guess, and you're worried about putting it on in the cloud. You can record video and audio, but that's going to make your notebooks huge, of course. Um, there's version history. It's where you can look back on a page's history and all the pages before. It's a way of, it's more, more complex than undo, and it's a way of backing up, really. And it keeps that, all those versions for 60 days. So you can look back on your versions for 60 days. It can do optical character recognition. If you copy a picture in of a web page, you can ask it to make the text into writing that you can edit. And uh, even if you never use one note for anything else, that's certainly handy. And it does handwriting recognition. And if you've ever tried Windows handwriting recognition, it's not too bad. You can type, you know, write with your finger, and it mostly gets it right. And there's a few more things, but they're more complex stuff that the business would be interested in. The free versions have less tools, but they're always improving them. I'm expecting the iPad to have um, probably not handwriting recognition, but at least being able to draw on the page. Well, let's have a little look at it. Uh, I'll quickly go through a few things. And inspect out of that and actually put it up there. Okay, here's my note. And this is this is a I was going to create one, but I can't I don't really have the time to do so. So this is one that I made earlier. Um, this is one that I've started to put things like text scrapbook stuff in. And I did one for online services. And in that, in that online, online services, there's all these same, so the principle is notebooks, and then inside those notebooks you have these tabs, these uh, section tabs, I forgot the name, section tabs, and you can have one for each thing. When you make a new section, say like this Windows 10 one that I haven't got anything on there, when you make a new section, you're given a space to write a heading at the top here, and this is where you can type. You can type anywhere. Wherever you click, wherever you click, you can type. The typing is put in a little frame, and you can even move that around if you like. You can, because this is the, because this is the, um, the fancy version, the 2013 one, I can even draw on the page, Draw on the page, and if I was to write, let's see if it'll recognise that bit of handwriting. Uh, it's not going to do it. 
Carbon to that on the timing. It's got us, I don't know select it, but that's right. It must think it's such a terrible handwriting that it's not actually <laughs> going to do it. Uh, it. If I click ink to text, it will have a go. But obviously that isn't recognised as anything like handwriting. Um, so you can draw things on there while you're doing stuff. If you, The fancy version like this, you could even record your voice talking while you make this thing. Or type in notes in something and talk at the same time. Um, you can put your highlighter, you can highlight things. You can even highlight on top of, if you had a picture of a web page, you can highlight things. Now, I did a little test one where I did this one about Android versus Galaxy Tab, and I, I um, you know, highlighted the text like that. So I could have a look, and in the Samsung reviews, and I put Something, select, highlight little bits in the in the text. These are and these can't these aren't permanent. You can rub them off. You can get a rubber, can rub off little. If you pick the right one, smaller razor. I can rub off little bits. You can actually choose to rub off a line, a whole line, or something like that, or a box, or I can take off stuff like that. So they're, they're fancy tools you get on the on the paid version. Uh, these are websites. Now you can copy and paste from the websites. There's also a little app here that says send to OneNote. If I was on the website now, I can click this one that says send to OneNote and send it straight there. It, it will ask me which folder it goes into and it will give me a, a, a version of the page. Now, sometimes the versions of the page are real skinny. If you just click on them and say so make it full size and come up with large size. You can get pictures from anywhere. You can do screenshots and put them in there. <coughs> Anything I haven't mentioned? Um, yeah, so if you make a new section, so I'm in here, I've got a little plus button, new section. It'll ask me what I want to call it. Every new <coughs> section gets a page, one page. If I want to add another page, there's two pages. Now if I go to the conference one that I've been using. Okay, this is a tick list I had of things I had to do. Not filled in. These little tick boxes are also what are called, they're called tags. And they do more than just be tick boxes. You can actually search for them. I can go find tags, and I can go here, and I can say, show only unchecked items. If I tick that, it will show me all the ones that don't have ticks in them. I can choose this page or all notebooks or something like that. Uh, and you can give some tags, turn it off. You can give some tags, um, I've got with stars on some. That means important. So I can search for all the ones that I thought were important. And I get the program on there. Well, I just went to the ASCA website and said, um, open that as a PDF. And I said, print. And when you have it, OneNote installed, one of your printers will be send to OneNote printer. When you choose that send to OneNote printer, it will ask you which folder it goes into, which page you want to put it on, and you put it there. So you can always have one of them. Ridges ones, uh, put some names down. These were, were copied, these were uh, sort of copied in there. Uh, these were part of an email. You can email to OneNote. You set up your email. They know your email address because you, you've got to use um, you've got to use a Microsoft one, and you email the, the you forward the email to uh, an address called emmetme at outlook.com. Well, it knows who it's from, so it knows who's the notebook, and it puts it in your own notebook in a thing that says unfiled notes or, or special ones. What else have I got in here? Do, do that speakers. Oh, this is the thing that I wrote that I might have been going to print out. You can also see that's one here. You can also um, 
insert things, documents. So they're not on a page, but you've inserted some long document in it there when you I could open this and have a look at it. It's just the same as I got that rubbish. So if I opened it, this would open in Word. And it, it goes with it. So uh, having a little look. I oh, it can make tables. Uh, I'll make a table for the check. Yeah, well that's a table. You can make proper tables. If you want something better than that, you can convert the table to an Excel spreadsheet and it will open in Excel. And you can work on it as a proper spreadsheet. And then when you cut, when you go back to it, it'll just resort to being a table within one note. Um, and everything's kept in sync, saves automatically. Everything's stored in the cloud. So it's pretty trouble-free, I find. 